What's up, everybody? It's Nikki Paris with The Laugh Factory here at Comic-Con, and I am so excited to be chatting with the cast of Ghetto Busters. And I have a fellow stand-up comedian here. We have Concrete, no. who plays Jalapeno on the show. Are you spicy on the show? Zesty. Yeah. Super zesty. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you identify with Jalapeno at all? Uh, about 98% of Jalapeno, yeah. <laughs> The other two percent is the one where I sleep. You know, it's just, uh, yeah. So you're spicy all the time. Is oh, spicy, zesty, uh, all the above. <laughs> all right, so tell us a little bit about Jalapeno and your character. Man, my character, dude. I am this. Uh, I'm. I'm definitely a go-getter. I'm a big dreamer, um, but things don't always pan out the way uh, I dream them up. You know, which, which, you know, which makes it really funny. And then I have to. I have a cast of misfits. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, man. It's just like we're always. We're, we get over one hump, and then once we get over that one hump, we're in another one, you know, so. What I love about this show is that you guys are all, like, wannabe superheroes, you know, the play on words from the Ghostbusters. When you were a kid, did you ever want to be a superhero and failed miserably? Oh, yeah, plenty of times, man. I remember, like, my first, you know, my mom, you know, like, we didn't have a lot of money coming up, so, like, my costumes were always, like, superheroes. So they would get either a red shirt and then just put, like, the... You know the S, and then they would get a like a either like a, a black trash bag, and I, that'd be my cape, or a towel. You know the light ones, the light yeah, towels. Right. You know, but yeah, man. I mean, I've been wanting to you know be a superhero forever, and this is kind of like a little bit of a chance to be able to kind of live that dream out. Now you do stand up. Check this guy out. You just performed at the Laugh Factory in San Diego. Do you feel that doing stand up has helped your acting career? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's you know, I mean, stand up is a whole other animal. Like. You know, like when I post my videos or my skits on social media, it's kind of like I'm able to do my skit, up, uh, upload it, and then put my phone down. But with social, you know, like but with stand-up, it's like you're, it's hand-to-hand -hand combat. If your joke doesn't work, they're going to let you know or not let you know, and you better come up with something quick. You know, so it's definitely a different animal, uh, and I respect it, man. I love it so much. And, you know, it's just, I mean, it's fun doing it, you know? Who is your favorite comedian? My favorite comedian, um, as far as working comedian, it, it, I mean, it would have to be someone to the likes of, like, you know, like, uh, you know, the George Lopez of the world, John Leguizamo, uh, Dave Chappelle. But my old-time favorite, funny man ever, is my father. He's, he's you know, to me, he's, I learned my comedy timing from him, uh, you know, how to set up my jokes from him. And, you know, he's always been just the family funny guy at every party. And, you know, uh, I just learned it all from him, really. What comedian do you think would make a great superhero? Man, a great super concrete. <laughs> and he's humble too. <laughs> well, Concrete, tell everybody where they can follow you. Man, you guys can follow me at Concrete Live. Follow the Ghetto Busters. You can catch us on, on on Tubi this holiday season. Catch us on the Ghetto Busters on Tubi. Make sure to watch it. The cast of the crew right here, man. Shout out to all my boys, man. All my girls too. And we are here with Ricky Montez from Ghetto Busters, who plays Savio. Tell me a little bit about your character. I'm like the Robin. To, he's like the Batman, I'm the Robin, and I always get him in the situations Well, I think it's a good situation, but it's not the best situation. It doesn't pan out like he said. And we just bounce off each other, you know, him being a stand-up, and I'm like an actor, like a, you know, trained actor, acting classes. I was never, I never did comedy, theater. But with doing improv, with him, it just, and with all the guys, it just felt like, it was crazy. It was like, the show is funny, and it was just, it's a, it's a blessing just to do comedy with, with the people that do stand-up, so it's, it's really fun. Is Savio a good sidekick on the show? Savio's a great sidekick with the shirt off. You know, I get exploited a little bit. My shirt's always off. Um, I'm, yeah. Your shirt's always off. It's always right. off. But yeah, I'm a great uh, sidekick to, all, uh, to him. You know, that's like my little... The, uh, we, me and him battle a lot. Me and, uh, oh, a lot. All the ladies are going crazy. Calm down, you animals. They're trying to get you to take your clothes off. But no, yeah, we, we play really uh, well off together. We bounce yeah. off each other. It's a lot of improv. It's like, you know, The Office meets Ghostbusters. So it's really cool. You know, I'm glad Tubi gave us a platform to even, you know, show the, our episodes on there. So I'm excited for it to air. Is Ricky, would Ricky make a good sidekick in real life? Uh, Ricky was Savio not married, you know, not married. I was Savio, you know, going to all the clubs, you know, every night. That's Savio. That's why I get the inspiration to play that character. Yeah, but I would make a great sidekick. I'm a great sidekick, great friend. These are all my guys right here. We're here with Ryan Ochoa and Anthony Campbell. Campbells. Campbells, I'm so sorry. Anthony Campbells. All right, third time's a charm. So tell me about your characters in the show. I, I play Bucky. Uh, you actually don't meet me till later on in the, in the se first season. Um, which is a little un 
little gag in the show about our name tags. I don't know, we got the I, name not Ray, and yeah, he is not Ray either. <laughs> so somebody died, and you two pose as Ray. Yeah. So yeah, we're, we're the new replacements. We're the new replacements. So I come in on episode, uh, on episode two, and I think uh, you come in at three, right? I, I think it's the b four. I know for sure I'm at four. I think it's four. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Can somebody call TV Guide and verify this information, please? It's four. It's four. So yeah, so we come in, you know, we you know we we, uh, we get hi uh, hired as the new Ghetto Busters, and we just you know superheroes, man, trying to trying to trying to. Well, we used to call it the Nub Busters, but you know I don't know that. <laughs> I don't know that for PG, re you know, <laughs> ratings. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're Ghetto Busters, and we come in, and instead of hun hunting ghosts, we're hunting uh, burnouts in the neighborhood. I, I like that. That's yeah. a good one. And I, I, I uh, you know, everybody needs that tough, cool guy that comes in, but also somebody to challenge one of your leads, right? So Savio's character, he's the ladies' man, and I come in basically to basically show him up and say, look, Bucky's here, and kind of just cause a little bit of chaos and, and you know, conflict and confrontation amongst the guys. But truthfully, they got my back, I got their back, and... Uh, on the inside, I'm actually just a real man, baby. That's I love it. Do you guys relate to your characters at all in real life? Uh, the fact, the only thing I'd say I actually like definitely relate to Bucky is he loves working out, and everybody. You work out a lot. I know, Joe. Yeah, well, that's why I actually wanted to bring to the role is is uh, you know when they said tough, it's not just like oh, you know you're gonna be a tough cool. It's like oh no, you're tough because you you want to out bench and, and out lift Savio, you know, which is funny. And, and then when, in the show, it actually is a perfect, perfect uh, addition. Uh, yeah. So, you know, I love working out and also just uh, I, I got I got my back. You know, I got the people around me's back, too. And that's really great. I love it, Ryan. If I ever get into a bar fight, I'm calling you. Anthony, how about you? Well, my character's pretty much, you know, that's me. Eighty percent of it, you know, it's like if I got into a fight, I definitely call you. So I'm clueless. But, you know, and the whole and the whole reason I became uh, Ghetto Busters because there was no background check, which is the reason why I became an actor because there's no background check. So it's the same guy, you know. <laughs> well, I love it. I love that you guys are both here. We're here with Alicia Ingram and Deanna Malay. I got it right. You got it. Just think, mole ole. I love it. So simple. Now tell us, what can we expect from Ghetto Busters out December 15 on Tubi? I think you can expect to have a great show to watch on Tubi, and it's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to get a lot of really good, I don't know, jokes out of it that I think they're one of a kind because a lot of the stuff is improvised. So even though we do get scripts and everything else, most of it, it ends up we end up improvising the entire thing. So <laughs> It's just a lot of fun. I mean, she's the estrogen. I'm the old ovaries on the show, but no matter what, just keeping these man babies in line, in check, with a chancla all day long, slapping the butts, that is all I need to do. And she keeps them in check too. So watch us on Tubi, one household at a time, where the Ghetto Busters will come in and save the day. You know what I love about the show? We see so little Latino representation in mainstream media. How does it feel for you to be a part of this? It's amazing because, you know, at the end of the day, even though being a Latin mother, it doesn't necessarily mean, hey, I, you know, I need to be taking care of everybody. You know, sometimes I need to be taken care of. And believe me, this woman takes care of me all day long. So do you guys play a couple on the show? No. Oh. But not, not yet. Not yet. There was a moment, though. There was, was a moment. Oh, yeah. Well, they're going to have to wait and see December 15th on Tubi. Do you guys relate to your characters at all in any way? Oh, absolutely. Dee Dee is me. Like, just a little more pissy, but yeah, Dee Dee's absolutely me in every way. Big old smart ass and everything. So. <laughs> Outside of the being really hot part, how about you? Yeah. Well, you know, I definitely play hot mom both on the show and off the show. I mean, literally, again, like I said, it's a family-oriented show. We are like family on the camera and off the camera, but that's what I mean. It's all about chemistry, and you guys are going to be amazed with what we bring on to the camera for Tubi. So looking forward to seeing all you guys on Tubi. I love it. Well, check out Ghetto Busters on Tubi December 15th.